Hey guys, Edward Earl, Zeus Coach. I want to cover timing, just a little tip on timing. Now this technique is not necessarily applicable in its entire structure when you get to higher levels where the ball is going a lot faster. It still applies, but it changes slightly. So what I want to talk about is the count. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three or one e and a two e and a three. It's a music thing, it's like a metronome. And tennis has a rhythm to it. And the objective is not to impose your will on the other player, or really impose your will on the ball. The objective is to be, in, in a funny way, one with the ball, to hit the ball, or the shot that the ball hit to you, is giving you as an opportunity. And there will be multiple opportunities based on the ball that's presented to you. And that all depends on the rhythm of the ball. When the ball is hit off of your opponent's racket, that is the start of the count. One 1,000. As soon as that happens, you go back to your SWAT technique where you spot or sight the ball. One 1,000. Two 1,000. And at two 1,000, the ball has basically hit the ground on your side and has bounced up. And at that point, you're already wound up apart in arc right at about the two count. So one 1,000, two 1,000, and then you're kind of hurrying to wait. And at three, one 1,000, two 1,000, three, right between two and three is you're dragging the racket up, and at three is when you take it out. T, you hit the ball. And the objective is the ball on the three count will be at the most advantageous position to hit it. So your job, generally, unless you're taking the ball early or doing something like that, is to position yourself to where on the three, you get to connect the ball in the perfect place, a foot out in front, maybe whether that's hip level, head level, or somewhere around here in the perfect strike zone, is for you to move yourself into position to where you can hit the ball on the three count at the exact the only perfect thing that moment. changes if you want to hit a little bit of a lag instead of one one thousand two one thousand three it's one one thousand two one thousand and you hold the tongue a little bit and you hit behind the beat three and that's more of that inside to out down the line type shot and the timing if you stay within the timing it makes all the difference in the world so what i'm going to do is shoot Jesslyn on the other side hitting the ball and then counting from behind the camera so you can see. And the one will come when the ball machine goes. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three. See? One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three. You'll find that the count, the two, is almost every time when the ball hits the ground. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three. And this is also a great way for you to get your timing together in the rhythm and get out of the nervousness during your warm up. So count. Every time it comes off your opponent's racket, one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three. And if the ball is a lob or a little bit slower, then you put that one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three count into the pace of the ball if that makes sense. And you'll see that Jessalyn is moving to where she can optimally hit the ball on the three. It puts you in the most advantageous position to strike the ball. All things considered, that's better than to trying to hit a ball that's not in that position. So if the ball is short, the objective is to move, obviously, but move it within that one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three. Jessalyn, lag, one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three. Okay, watch. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three. See how the ball starts to move off. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three. 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 I think you get the point. So use this strategy and practice with it during your warm-up and anytime you feel like you're out of rhythm or you're having some issues, go back to the count.
Okay, go back to the count, get the rhythm. And of course, you'll see the pros where the ball's going so much faster, and they might be one one thousand two, one one thousand two, one one thousand two, or one Eana two, one Eana two. It just depends on how fast the ball is. The objective is you can still use the concept and the strategy. You just may have to pull a number out or exaggerate a ball.